Hello everybody. Let me welcome all of you to this new program from iVision. Today we are here to chronicle the profile of a man, a scientist. His research has been in the newspapers over the last number of weeks and today we are going to talk to him in detail about his work and his life. He is none other than Professor Dr. Suresh C. Pillai. Dr. Suresh obtained his PhD in uh, nanotechnology from the Trinity College Dublin and then he went to the United States in California Institute of Technology to do a postdoctorate. Today he is the head of nanotechnology in the Sligo Institute of Technology and we are here to talk to him today about in detail about his work. Dr. Suresh, welcome to the program. Thank you, Rajesh. Dr. Suresh, you have immense credentials. Please tell us about your background and, and how you landed in Ireland. Okay. That's a long story short. Uh, I'm originally from a small village in Kerala. Uh, it's in Kottam district. And our village's name is Chambakra in Korgachal, uh, Korgachal Panjayat. So I did my most of my preliminary studies in, in Korgachal. Um, started in a government LP school Kurgachal, and then uh, follow on to the NSS high school and NSS school in, 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 in Kurgachal. Then I did my pre-degree in uh, NSS college Changanasheri and then I did my degree in chemistry in uh, NSS college Warur and after that I moved to Mahatma Gandhi University campus to do my masters in uh, chemistry. Um, and after that, uh, during my master's, I went to Indian Institute of Science um, or IASE in Bangalore to do my project. That's how I learned about the research or how to do research and what is research. I didn't have any idea about research before that. And um, after uh, the six months of research in uh, Indian Institute of Science, I thought that, oh my God, this is my area. This is what I want to do in future. Um, then I got an opportunity to continue my research with a, uh, an eminent scientist, Dr. K. G. K. Warrior, in a, in, a, in a CSAR lab, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. That time it was called Regional Research Laboratory in uh, Trivandrum. So I learned a lot of things from Dr. Warrior and his colleagues particularly. A number of colleagues helped me uh, to understand the research and the research, various research topics. So the area of research was material science there. And while doing my research in, uh, in Trivandrum, now it's called NIIST, I got an opportunity to come to Ireland. I got a scholarship. A friend of mine, Sunil from Limerick, informed, the, informed me that there's a position available in Trinity College. And I applied and I got it. And, and that is how I landed in Ireland. That's fantastic to hear actually. Uh, let me ask you one more question. Uh, what are the prospects of a scientist of your caliber in, in Ireland? A lot of opportunities for scientists in Ireland. When you think about PhDs uh, in science or engineering uh, or in other areas, you always think about an academic position. There are a number of opportunities for PhDs in industries. For example, a number of my PhD students or students or PhDs graduated from my group are working in various industries such as Intel um, in uh, pharmaceutical companies. A few of them are working in universities. So after PhD, there are a number of opportunities and, uh, in academia and also in industries. Thank you. Uh, your recent achievement, uh, which was a research-based program, uh, was in the newspapers over the last number of weeks. Uh, can you just tell us in detail about that? Yes. I'm working in, in the area of nanotechnology or nanomaterials. Uh, nanomaterials are materials with uh, microstructural dimensions, which is less than 100 nanometers, which is tiny particles, okay, small particles. So our job is to develop these nanoparticles for various applications. Uh, the, the current project we were working on, it took long time to develop this particular project uh, or program. Um, our aim was to develop antimicrobial materials. Uh, particularly, you probably know about uh, superbugs. Superbugs are bacteria, bacterial yes. strains which are resistant to most of the antibiotics. Yeah. So there are no current technology or no current uh, antimicrobial technology available to prevent these superbugs. 
So our technology is based on a light reaction. It is called photocatalysis, okay. Okay. which means that uh, when light absorbed by semiconductor material, for example, titanium dioxide, the electron moves from its lower energy level to the higher energy level, and a number of reactive species will be developed during this reaction. For example, hydroxyl radicals, superoxide anions, hydrogen peroxide. These are highly reactive molecules and this can react with bacteria okay. and uh, effectively these reactive oxidation species or re these reagents can kill bacteria. Okay. So, and uh, we have been awarded uh, two patents, right. uh, uh, actually three patents, two United States patents and uh, one UK patent awarded last year and also a number of patent applications are pending in different countries. Okay. We all have, we have all heard uh, during our childhood days that you know uh, penicillin was discovered by Alexander Fleming as an accident. So was this something like that, or was that a targeted uh, goal? Uh, this is a mix of both okay. um, because we have been working on developing uh, antimicrobial materials or photocatalytic materials since to, since two thousand five. So yeah. it's almost it took almost ten years to develop uh, a technology which is. Uh, antimicrobial. Okay. Uh, initially we have been targeting on pollutants, various pollutants, for example industrial dyes to degrade industrial dyes and then uh, uh, indoor air pollutants and then we came into the area of antimicrobial resistance or, or developing antimicrobial materials. Okay. So it's a long journey and it, uh, it's an effort of a number of people, a large number of people, over 50 scientists worked at various stages in this right. program. Okay. I'm just a leading scientist, so all credit goes to the people who work with me. Right. So it's basically a teamwork. It is a teamwork, and this is a good example of a teamwork. Okay. okay. And what are the chances of of whatever you've done going commercial? Because at the end of the day, me being a layman, uh, even if you you do a number of uh, research, uh, unless it comes down to the shops or down to the table, we will not be able to enjoy it. So do you think it's going to be commercialized down the line? Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, having said that, no. This is a patented technology. Uh, the patents have been awarded. Um, we have signed a license. I started this work in Dublin Institute of Technology or right. DIT. Right. Um, so DIT signed a number of licenses to uh, different companies, particularly one of the licenses signed to a company called Castus Limited right. in, um, in Dublin. Yes. Uh, John Brown is the CEO. John is currently talking to a number of big companies other companies to make it commercial. So hopefully you can see the product in the market pretty soon. Okay. I was, I was telling you earlier, you're obviously in a very enviable position with your credentials, with your achievements. Um, you are now the uh, professor also in Sligo, Institute of Technology. Can you just tell me uh, a typical day of yours? Yeah, I'm not sure about it's enviable or not, uh, but uh, it's an interesting job. Uh, I like what I do. My usual day start at uh, half nine in the morning. Okay. Um, so the first day would be like uh, visiting the lab, visiting yeah. the lab and talking to students yeah. uh, and to see how the research are going on. Then I have teaching responsibilities. Then, um, then I have a number of projects live. So I may have discussions or Skype meetings with my international collaborators. Right. Uh, then I will be writing proposals then I have other responsibilities. I am working on. Uh, I'm working as an editor for a journal, and I am um, the, uh, in the editorial uh, okay. member of a couple of other journals as well. So I have a number of editorial duties. Okay. So I spend at, at least a couple of days, a couple of sorry, a couple of hours uh, for editing uh, journals. Okay. Then organizing meetings, and uh, and then uh, usually my day uh, finishes at. 5.30 or 6 and sometimes it goes up to 8 or 9 depending on the workload. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Dr. Suresh, uh, can you just tell us about this institute, the Institute of Technology in Sligo? Uh, does this institute have any uniqueness as compared to the other uh, universities and institutes? Yes, uh, the institute is obviously, as you rightly said, this is Institu uh, Institute of Technology Sligo, which is situated in the northwest of Ireland. We have over uh, 6,000 students here and 400 staff, and we have students from all over the world, uh, particularly from the Middle East, um, so North America, South America, Europe, 
and uh, also from Asia. Uh, so our uniqueness is in online teaching. Um, so we have a number of online uh, courses here. Our engineering is very strong. Our science is very strong. We have some unique courses such as robotics and also we have courses in uh, nutrition, for example. Um, our business and social science school is also very popular. Uh, so these are uh, some of the important aspects of Institute of Technology SLIGO. Okay, and okay, uh, the next question I would like to ask you is, do you have any associations or do you have any links with any uh, institutions or organizations back home in India? Yes, uh, I work with a number of organizations in India, um, IITs. Um, also, I have strong link with the Indian Institute of Science. I'll be visiting uh, IAC again in July. I work with the Cochin University of Science and Technology, uh, CUSAT. Uh, also, Mahatma Gandhi University. Uh, professors uh, from Mahatma Gandhi University. I work with a number of professors or researchers in MG University and also Kerala University. And also Shastra University in, in Tanjavur. So I have a strong research links with a number of universities and also collaborate with a number of eminent scientists in India. Uh, Dr. Suresh, you've been doing a lot of research uh, in this institution uh, for the last number of years. Uh, what level of uh, research is going on at the moment? Is that, uh, uh, when if you compare that with the world-class uh, research, at what level is it at the moment? Our research is world-class. We have a number of programs in uh, nanotechnology, bioengineering, biomedical engineering, biotechnology, uh, microbiology, uh, chemistry, uh, physiology, uh, robotics, uh, precision engineering, so you name it, we have research uh, in a significant number of areas. Our research is world class, our staff is all internationally well recognized, uh, most of the staff has PhDs in uh, well recognized universities, so our research is world class. Thank you. Uh, one thing I've always wanted to ask you is uh, one simple question. Uh, what is the secret of your success? I would say hard work and the consistency on what you are doing and also dreaming. Um, like uh, all scientists should be good dreamers. You should dream on things what you will be doing. Uh, and also self-organization. Uh, you are the boss of your own. So self-discipline or self-organization is very, very important. Um, so that's it. That's okay. uh, that's. That's what I feel about okay. myself. Uh, what would you say are your ambitions and what are your uh, future plans if we have any at the table at the moment? Uh, always I'm, I'm passionate about doing research. So uh, more research, more uh, like leading into new research discoveries, uh, particularly in the area of nanotechnology. And I'm working on uh, 2D materials at the moment, graphene uh, uh, or new semiconductor materials. So future plants are always uh, developing new materials for future applications or functional applications. Okay. One question that I want to ask you that has uh, mainly come from the youngsters is, uh, do you have any, any particular message for them out there, especially for the Indian community out there? Yeah. Um, work hard. Uh, you can achieve anything you want in your life if you work hard. Always be consistent. Always dream. And uh, be self Disciplined. Self-discipline is the most important thing you need to have. Having said that, you are your own boss. You should be defining your life. So work a bit hard or work a bit more than everybody else. You can achieve anything. Okay. That's good. That's my story. That's nice. Uh, we have spoken a lot about your work, um, about your career, about your future plans. Tell us about your family. I'm married to uh, Sarita. Sarida is originally from uh, Karamana, Trivandrum. She is a graduate of uh, College of Engineering, Trivandrum. Initially, she worked as a software engineer uh, in Technopark. And after moving to Ireland, uh, uh, she, uh, she worked in uh, different jobs in various software industries. Currently, she is a lecturer in uh, uh, computer science in IT Sligo. And I have two boys. Uh, Elder one is Srihari, he is 12 years old, and younger one is uh, Sri Shagar. Sri Shagar is 7 years old. Both of them are studying uh, at uh, St. John's School in Sligo. So our family is still in Changanasheri, uh, uh, near to Changanasheri, it's uh, 
Karugachal. So ladies and gentlemen, that was the interview that you seen with Dr. Suresh. We are so immensely grateful to Dr. Suresh for having invited us all the way to his office right here. And I hope you have all enjoyed it. Uh, till we meet again, we will be coming, coming out with another important personality again in a couple of weeks. Till then, it's goodbye from my vision. Thank you.